what my mom eats in a day. So I'm back with another video featuring my mom as you guys all really seem to like it when she's in my videos. And one of your requests was to show her meals. So to show the kinds of things that she eats and cooks for herself. So she's going to show you what she eats for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. My mom is French and has lived in French most of her life. So she definitely cooks and eats the French way. And I know that a lot of you are interested in that as well. So I'm hoping that you'll gain some insight from this video. I'm going to be explaining everything and I hope that you enjoy it and that you get some good meal ideas. So for breakfast, she's having some skier yogurt, which is a very high protein, low fat yogurt. And she's having that with some granola along with some fresh raspberries and blueberries. And she's also having some pea milk with that. It's like a plant-based milk made of peas. Along with a glass of water and a little glass of orange juice. She then has coffee and dips a little biscuit in that. So you finally run, run and For lunch, she's making a big salad with tomatoes, celery, onion, white beans, and some parsley. If you let me shine, you like to put somebody else's happiness before your own. I see the weight of Atlas on your shoulder, weighs a ton. I'm trying to be the ball and light and energy for you to grow. You see, you're just a flower who has never seen the sun. You're stronger than you know. There's power in your bones. The flowers that you've grown are water by your tears. You say you're growing old. One day you're gonna fold. Amazing how you go. I'm bothered through the years. But if you just let go. And here she's making a vinaigrette with apple cider vinegar, olive oil, and some salt and pepper. And this salad was for two people, so it was for the two of us, so that you get an idea of portion sizes. And I'm not gonna come back for anyone else, and I don't wanna come down and be by myself. Slow burn, stay here and watch the flame. Now I'm focusing on all my breathing, floating on this feeling, burning sage. All my problems and doubts, I'm gonna figure them out. Then for dessert, she had a soy-based raspberry-flavored yogurt. If I remember to breathe, and just let it be. Here she's having her second coffee of the day with a square of dark chocolate. Also not pictured as a snack, she had some iced green tea and some almonds. For dinner, she's making chek chuka, which is a North African dish, which is basically a stew with a bunch of peppers and tomatoes and eggs. So here she's just chopping peppers, onion, and she's already pre-cut and peeled the tomatoes. Now I'm focusing on all my breathing. She's 
adding frozen garlic to the mix and it's very convenient if you don't feel like just cutting up actual fresh garlic. She added some espalette pepper and like regular salt and pepper and maybe other spices that I did not catch on camera. And then she put six eggs in there, so two eggs per person. There were three of us to eat this dish. And here she's adding parsley and also cubes of cheese. This is not necessary in the recipe, but we really like it. I mean, nothing is necessary in a recipe. You just do what you want. And then she's toasting some whole grain bread to eat along with that. Since there are not very many carbs in that dish, the bread will kind of balance things out. And for dessert, she had a couple of apricots. That's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it motivated you to eat healthy and that you got some meal ideas. And if you like videos with my mom, don't hesitate to let me know. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see with her. And don't forget to like this one and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.